I've put in my accident story on the vlog. I've put my depression story on the vlog. Someone just dropped their bike apparently. So I'm gonna give you guys an update. 15 months later, that's what this is. What's up guys and welcome back to the Josie Show, your guys' weekly vlogs out of really windy Amsterdam, <laughs> as you guys can probably tell right now. And see, again, my bike fell because it's so windy. And I wanted to give you guys an update since it's been about 15 months now since my bike accident. And if you guys don't know about the accident story, I'll leave the link up here. And you guys can check out up here actually and you guys can check out that story and see exactly how bad it was because apparently people don't think that five hemorrhages in your brain is a severe injury they think it's just a joke and yes my overall mood has changed that's because i've been prescribed uh, severe antidepressants i think it's called citalopram but i've been taking those for the past few months and it helps me keep a positive view on life and well you guys as i mentioned before keep me going as well that's why i do the live streams that's why i do everything that's why i always appreciate everyone that shows up for the live stream everyone that leaves the comments because seriously you guys keep me going and i just found something ironic out now i had my accident and i fell on the left side of my head right well my camera on new year's fell on its lens and when it fell on its lens it fell on the left side i'm now in the process of starting cognitive tests and that's going to take i start i think next week or the week after basically where they're going to test my memory tests how you know how i can slowly reintegrate myself back into the work environment and to be honest i think i mentioned this before i do the recycling i do the vlogs because it's something that's positive in my life and something that keeps me going and all of my psychs and all of my doctors agree that i should keep doing this because well it gets me going it keeps me from feeling depressed it keeps me from feeling like crap Right now I want to show you how life is for me while I'm dealing with recovery. So I'm going to give you guys some examples and hopefully you guys enjoy. Afterwards I'm going to of course enlighten and brighten the mood with some nice bike scenes. Despite it being 15 months, I still have issues. I still have the short term memory issues. I still have in general memory issues and it messes with my day by day routine even with vlogging, even with making thumbnails i sometimes have to look at which colors i actually used in the thumbnails because i forget and this is also the reason why i'm sometimes late with the vlogs sometimes the vlogs come out on a saturday sometimes they come out on a sunday and that happens because i film the same scenes over and over or i forget that i filmed something and i have to go out the next day like today yesterday was a nice day but it was windy now it's a typical rainy day and as you see i'm combining two days into one because i forgot to film clips yesterday or i thought i filmed clips yesterday and i didn't And another thing is that I tend to forget appointments, I tend to forget uh, to pay bills, I tend to forget all sorts of things. So I use this app called Google Calendar, it's not really focusing on this, but I use this app called Google Calendar and it helps me keep my day organized. I tend to also when I go to stores forget what I'm in the store for, so I have to make like a grocery list or I forget what I'm buying. It's frustrating to say the least because it's just like, you know, I, I feel like I'm like an old man or something. No offense to any old people watch this. And even when I'm back home, relaxed, not dealing with anything, I'm still forgetting things. Like I bought cat litter. I'm looking all through the house for the cat litter. And to my surprise, check this out. This wasn't staged or anything, people. I literally was freaking out. I was like, did I leave it outside? Well, I mean, I guess I did leave it outside. It's just right there. It's been there for like 40 minutes probably.
best way to get to the red light. <laughs> Find some bike police. Best way.